Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages and the energies that you're currently working with at the moment. As I'm getting your energies for you, I want to remind you that it is important to allow your intuition to be available as I'm doing your readings because your intuition will start elaborating on the messages that you're receiving. So, at the bottom of the deck of what you're currently not seeing at the moment, the Divine is saying that for some of you, you're currently experiencing a lot of challenges, maybe heartbreak, disappointment, deception, that type of energy that is here. But what you're currently not seeing at the moment is how you are bound to that situation or how you are binding yourself from that situation and not walking away and not cutting the cords that are keeping you in this painful situation. For some of you, this is a karmic lesson that is here. And you keep repeating the same type of mistake over and over again. The divine is saying that what you're currently not seeing is that you are stuck in a loop of a karmic cycle. And there's a calling that is going out to you to say to you that it is time for you to stop suffering. It is time for you to look at this situation that is here and to ask yourself some important questions. And not only that, to start seeing that you can liberate yourself, you can start cutting these cords, you can start removing yourself from the situation that is binding you here. So for some of you, this is connected to maybe your childhood trauma. You experience a lot of pain, you experience a lot of dis disappointment, and you didn't have people you could support, or who could support you rather. You didn't have people that you could call upon. And then as you grew up to an adult, the same type of situations started repeating themselves in different types of people. So the divine is saying that it is now time to look at how and why these lessons are here. Because there's a calling for you to do the healing journey. There's a calling for you to liberate yourself. There's a calling for you from the divine to say that this situation must end but you must actively end this situation, okay? So I feel that for some of you, there's just going to be clarity. There's just going to be epiphany. There is the breaking of the bonds, the bondages that have kept you like this. So I want to ask you to really start looking at perhaps how you can start cutting the cords. Go on YouTube and learn how to cut the cords that are keeping you tied or to even do a cord cutting ceremony with me because this is part of the skill sets that I have. So whatever is happening, the divine is saying that enough is enough. It is time for you to light that fire that is going to release you from this dark place that you're currently stuck in or your heart is currently stuck in. It is important for you to really close your eyes and to tune into these energies to release whatever it is that you need to release so that these blockages these bonds can start getting dissolved, can start getting released. You are powerful. But this energy that is here is harnessing, is stealing your power. And it is time to start understanding that there is a powerful energy connected to the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is one of my favorite cards. So you are currently on a journey that is here. A journey of growth a journey of liberation, a journey of your wishes coming true. So can you see why the divine is saying that it is time to cut those cords? It is time for you to liberate yourself. Yeah. It is time for you to banish bad luck, return to sender negative energies so that you can free yourself once and for all. Because again, when we're looking at our tarot cards of the energies that are here, you're receiving the energies of the nine of swords. The nine of swords is just feeling like there's a nightmare situation that has been happening for a long time. For some of you are experiencing insomnia, you're not able to sleep because there is a lot that is going on in your mind. So mentally you are just a, under a lot of pressure. And this is why the divine is saying that it is time to free yourself. Mental freedom is needed. Mental clarity is needed. The ace of wands is all about epiphanies, it's all about that aha moment. Suddenly when the penny drops and you say to yourself, enough is enough, you get up and you start taking action. This is when you start seeing things starting to change for you. So the divine is saying that there is going to be a liberation. 
there is going to be a powerful new beginning that is going to be coming in for you. But again, you must actively open your eyes to start seeing that there is a journey that is here and you must decide to be that warrior, to free yourself, to claim the powerful energies that you can rightly have. So we can see that there's a new beginning that is here. You've got another new beginning that is here. So you have the energies of the pages of pentacles. You have the eight pages of pentacles and also the ace of pentacles. So the pages are full of energy. The pages are full of excitement. The ed pages are full of anticipation, hope. The pages are ready to clear everything out and to start from ground zero, knowing that it is important to clear everything so that when you receive this new beginning that is here, you are going to take it and plant it. And there's a new you that is being born, connected to your health, to your money, to your resources. The Ace of Pentacles is about an offer. So the divine is offering you a new chapter, a new beginning. And the question is, will you accept this offer that is here? Will you accept this offer and wipe the slate clean so that you can grow afresh, new, feeling finally liberated and excited about the new beginning that is here? Understanding that your prayers have been answered and finally you are free to write a new chapter, to write a new book because you're understanding that you are the author of your life. And so the question to you is, how is the next chapter going to be unfolding? What is going to be happening next? Will you be allowing other people to take the pen and to keep writing the same type of story, but with just different characters, different places, but the story is all the same about heartbreak, about disappointment, deception, dealing with snakes. You get a new job at the beginning, you're excited only to find that it is the same type of energy of the people that are there from your last workplace. You get into a new relationship only to find like it was like your ex. You're being treated bad, you're being cheated on. And finally you're like, no, I must do the healing journey. I must look at myself. I must liberate myself. I must wipe the slate clean. And as you wipe the slate clean, the divine is saying, okay, here's a new beginning. Because now you have grown. Now you have understood that the karmic lesson was there to teach you some important lessons. And going in the future, you will not be repeating the same type of mistakes. You will not be allowing the same type of people to enter into your life because energetically you are able to read people and you are willing and quickly able to cut the cords, distance yourself, because now you're understanding that you're not allowing the same type of people to be around you, the same type of situations to keep repeating themselves. So beloved, you're seeing that you're accepting this new seed that the divine is offering to you. And now look at you. You have found the one. There is joy. There is blessings that are here. And I love the rainbow being here because this is that divine covenant, the promise from the divine that you are not going to be experiencing the same type of lessons, the same karmic type of experiences because you did the hard work of clearing the slate, of removing <clears throat> anything that was getting in the way, anything that was a weed. You pull it out and it keeps growing. You pull it out and it keeps growing. But no, you went and did whatever it is that you needed to do to make sure that when you planted the seed, there were no weeds there. There were no karmic lessons that were entangling themselves. And you started walking to your wishes coming true of joy, of understanding that each lesson that we learn, we become stronger, even though at the time it is painful. Eventually you understand and you see the journey that you've gone through because life makes sense when when you look at life backwards right life may starts to make sense so beloved i want to remind you that we have our 
full moon ceremony that is going to be happening on the 6th of April. If you're wanting to be part of the full moon ceremony, please go and purchase your candle, write your petition, take your time, write your petition as if it's already happened, as if it's already done. You've received whatever it is that you're praying for. So once you've written your petition with a pen and paper, okay, because you are spelling, you are now working with magic. We call spelling, when we're writing, we're spelling things out into reality. And once you do that, you send me your petition, keeping it short and sweet. When I receive your petition, I do the cleansing, okay? Before we light the candle, before we get to the altar, before anything, I have the work that I have to do beforehand of cleansing, wiping the slate clean, removing blockages and doing everything in my power so that your journey can be successful. But we are working together. You have the faith. You are doing what you need to do. You are taking the steps going towards your wishes coming true. And so if you're wanting to be part of that full moon ceremony on the 6th of April, go in the description box below, go to my website, reserve your space, purchase your candle, Write me your petition and I'll be working with that. But for some of you, you might need a cord cutting ceremony. You might need a ceremony to call your power back. You might need a banishing bad luck ceremony. So there are other ceremonies that are on my website. Go and look and see whatever calls out to you. So looking at our oracle cards, we have a confirmation that is here. That listen, your blessings are coming in disguise. Okay, you are going to be seeing blessings coming into your life. Like I already told you, you are going to be seeing an offer coming into your life. So the divine is saying, keep going. When you're on this journey, even if you hit an obstacle, even if things get difficult, your efforts are going to pay off. Don't go back to the past. Don't go back to these people who keep hurting you time and time again. So beloved, the divine is really wanting you to understand that your blessings are going to be coming in. You have been through a lot. Okay. People have hurt you time and time again, but now it is time for you to take your power back. It is time for you to cut the cords and release yourself. It is time for you to put the effort into a walking into a new chapter, into a new beginning. Because the divine is saying that this whole situation was challenging and complicated. But at the end of the day, there was that silver lining. There was that rainbow that was here. And the blessings that are coming for you are in disguise. So it is going to be important for you, like I already told you, to take action. To make your dreams and wishes coming true. So go and take the action that you need to take. So this is the reading that I have for you. If you found value in this reading, please do give this video a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye.